Welcome to another episode of Clear Light Connections, where we talk to the people behind the businesses of Bay Area Houston, proudly sponsored by UTMB Health. Uh, today's special guest is Nicole, and you are with Texas Women in Business. Yes. Tell me about the organization. So we are a 501c3 nonprofit. We were actually founded in our Austin chapter 14 years ago, and we opened up Clear Lake uh, four years ago. We just celebrated our four-year anniversary, so very exciting. And what's your mission? What What, what is it you, you're... We uh, have a couple pillars. So one of the things that we really focus on is philanthropy. Um, we definitely love to give back to the community. We focus on um, leadership development, so helping women in business acquire those skills that they need to be leaders in their industry. And then also the education piece is huge for us. So we bring a lot of different speakers every month to help women have the tools in their toolbox that they can access to just be be better women in business essentially so those are our, our key pillars so business success and you attack it from many different angles yes yeah it's not just business I mean obviously you have to have that part of it but we focus a lot on the balance right so a lot of us are we're moms we're wives we're you know, we're dog moms, like we have a million things, we wear a million hats. And so there's the emotional part of it that comes into play. And so we also speak to that. Um, there's the physical aspect, the things that you need in your physical life, like, you know, fill your own cup. And then also the things that you need to, to know in business, just be better businesswoman. So communication, negotiation, um, finances, you know, all of those things, things that maybe you don't think about when you're building a business, right? You just think, oh, I want to build a business, right? I want to do something fun. Um, and you don't always have all those other pieces. So we like to kind of layer those in as you're going to, to help you be more successful. And, and it sounds like it's a good support network. It's amazing. Yeah. That, I mean, that's obviously, that's probably a key pillar that we, we have thrown in there. Um, you know, one of the biggest reasons that I started the group back in, you know, four years ago, whatever year that was, COVID has kind of made everything weird, um, was really just to have a place that women felt like they were somebody when they walked in, right? We go to a lot of places sometimes and it's kind of, if you don't know anyone, you can tend to shrug back and mm -hmm. not everybody's really open, uh, especially in large crowds or, or people they don't know. And so we really made it part of our mission to just make people feel loved on and included from the minute they come in the door. And um, I think one of the things that our members say is they've met their best friends there, like lifelong friendships. So there's definitely that part of it too. You have a lot of people tell you like dream killers, right? Like there's a lot of people that tell you you can't do all the things. And we wanted to create a community where you had a lot of people that told you that that you actually could. Well, and, and you we have you. shared experiences. Yeah. And I think that's shared experiences are so important. Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. And, and really building relationships like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a relationship business. Most things are a relationship business, right? Yeah, everything. You do, you do business with yep. people you know, like, and trust. And mm -hmm. so there's there's that part of it. You're building skills and business just by having a conversation with someone in the group that's new. Like you're brushing up on your networking skills just by being there. So it starts from the minute you walk in the door and, um, you know, shaking hands. All, all the basics that we sometimes overlook. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, it's just a, it's a great core group of women. They're They're amazing. So you said you started the chapter about four years ago. Yeah. Tell me about that. What, what made you decide to do it? And then what was the process like? Sure. So, um, well, uh, it, it kind of started in pieces. Um, our home was damaged in Harvey. And so I came home um, after, you know, everything settled down. And there was a group of strangers in my house. And I was completely mind blown that people would stop what they're doing to to help us right they didn't know us um, we had just moved into the neighborhood and um now mind you we were the only house that got hit so i'm sure they all were like oh my gosh let's help right just generosity of spirit and i think in that moment when i saw people doing that i thought i just i don't know how i could ever repay that but it it was laid on my heart to to one day want to get back and I'm only one person. And so I knew, you know, obviously we live in the Gulf coast, right? Like it could happen anytime. And I wanted at that point to know that if ever it happened again, we would have a large group of women that could go and help serve in the community in some way. Um, and so that's kind of originally how it started. And then you have that component of just, you know, all I'm a, I have always built businesses. I'm an entrepreneur at heart. And I knew there were things that you know, women needed in their support group uh, when they're looking at building businesses. And so I wanted to combine the two and have people feel like they had a place where they could 
learn, um, a place where they could give back and support uh, in their community. And so a friend of mine, Jennifer Kim, she was actually the founding president. She had ties with Texas Women in Business. I was good just being a networking group. I'm like, let's just have fun, (laughs) hang out, help people, you know. Um, But she said, you know, let's make this official um, let's let's make a Texas woman in business in the Bay Area. And so she did, you know, she was in charge of, of getting all of that set up and making us officially a part of Texas women in business. And um, we've just continued to to go ever since. And we've yeah, been and able I, to serve. So I, it's great. I don't think people realize that. So people think of nonprofits and they, you know, they don't think about the entrepreneurial spirit behind nonprofits. But I think most most nonprofits end up being started by somebody with an entrepreneurial spirit Mm -hmm. well it's 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 like the it is a job (laughs) you know what i mean it's a job it's a business even though we are a a, you know a nonprofit, we give back um you have to run key parts of it like a business Mm -hmm. um in order for it to be successful so yeah i can see that i mean i i don't know a I don't know the background of a lot of nonprofits, but I can definitely see that. I'm sure your experience will tell you. Yeah, more. and it's it's uh, you make a valuable point there that just because you're nonprofit doesn't mean you 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 don't run it like a business. There's mm-hmm. not if you're a nonprofit and you're making money, that's okay. Yeah. In fact, you need that money to further your mission. Yeah. Well, there's always things like you know. Even just today, uh, one of our members lost her mom, and we're like, we should send flowers, right? So that money has to come from somewhere. Um, so yeah, one of our one of our goals this year was to really treat it more like a business, and the fact that you know, let's make sure that we have the things in place to make sure we can you know run our business and help people when we need to, and, uh, and join the chamber, like all these things, right? That that cost money, um, but then also you know. Our, our main focus is the give back. So we're really excited. We actually have a gala in a couple days. Okay. Um, that's our first gala. We've been here four years, and um, our goal was to be able to do a gala. So we have that coming up. And 100% of the donations for the silent auction go to Higher Up Texas. That, for us, is big. Like, that feels really big. Um, and then we just we plan to do more. But, yeah, you're right. We need to to – Treat it like a business so that the doors stay open. Yeah, it's, it's stay about on, you it's know? about your future, your survival. I mm-hmm. mean, but too many too many nonprofits they 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 kind of make 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 it sound like that that's icky and and it's not. They they yeah. that's, you need to operate that. Yeah, we need operating costs to, to keep the doors yeah. open, lights on. Yep, so <laughs> and lots what, of volunteers. What are some of your other signature events? Well, so this year, so we always have like our main, our main events every single month. We do a Coffee Connect, which is more just like a a traditional, more networking style, right? We just talk and get to know each other's business. We have a question and um, it's just a great time to pass out business cards and connect, really Coffee Connect. We do that uh, the first Tuesday and the first Thursday of every month. On Wednesday, we have a happy hour. So that's more of a social, you know, just kind of interact Mm -hmm. with everybody not necessarily talking business, but just getting to know people. And then we do a, a dinner the third Thursday of every month, and that dinner is our educational program. So it's always um, a speaker topic is education. This year was business education. So everyone that we've done has done something to teach somebody about how to be in business properly, um, how to do it better, how to do it different. And then um, we do we do a lot of events through the year um, with different nonprofits. So we did um, a cleanup in Pasadena. Uh, we always do fill the bus in Pasadena. So we're always open to you know looking at new opportunities if we can put it together and and move forward. We're always happy to help. Um, but our gala, this is our first year that we're doing it. So we're gonna we have just over a hundred people that are coming, That's which good. is fantastic That's when you a look great at start. it. Yeah. 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 So how many members does your organization have? We have 125 paid okay. members. Okay. Yeah. We started out the very first year. We were really excited when eight people showed up. <laughs> I think the beginning of this year, we were looking back at numbers and we had like 56. Okay. So, so we've grown that's quite nice. a bit. This yeah. this year, we've had a, a big boost of, of growth, which is incredible. And, and what's your best way of finding new members? Is it word of mouth? People, we bring, a, people bring their friends. Yeah, we have a lot of people. So um, guests come free, which is always a, a benefit. Just come and try it out and see mm-hmm. what you think. Um, I Every guest that's ever come before they leave tells us, this is so different. And I'm like, that's the biggest compliment to me um, for it to be different. I, I want it to feel different. Um, and I hope, you know, the president next year and after that and after that, they take that and that's their, like, 
you know, gold standard. They want it to be different, but guests are always welcome. Uh, we do some Facebook advertising, but most of it's word of mouth. It's, you know, hey, come check this out. Love these girls. They're a lot of fun. And, and you guys all volunteers? Yes. Okay. Volunteer run organization. Volunteer that's, army. That's tough too. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, we've got um, we've got a lot of different. Um, well, we have our board of directors, and then each of them are on a committee, um, and then we have the, obviously the you know the people that volunteer their time at events. I mean, fantastic! I'd say if you were a woman, you could come. <laughs> you could come check it out. So, tell me, how, how do people find you guys? So we are on, well, let's see, we're on Facebook. We have a public page on Facebook. We have a private group, which is not just members. So if they'd like to, to pop in and kind of see what we do. Um, and then, of course, we have our website. And, um, you know, we, we get around town. Most of us go to most of the local events here. So so you're, you're all volunteers. So you all either have your own business. Yeah. That's so. Okay. Yeah. Majority of us. There's a few students that don't have a business yet, but are kind of, you know, just kind of feeling it out what they need to do. Um, but for the most part, uh, all of us either own our own business. And then we have some people that work for businesses. So you don't actually have to own your own business. That's one of the things. So it's a nice a mix lot. of people yeah. and experience. Yeah. And you have a, a really good mix of people. When you ask questions, you get everybody's perspective from consumer to business owner which makes it really nice. Yeah. And so, so what's your what's your hope for the future for the organization? Where, where do you want to see it in five years? Oh, my gosh. Well, this, obviously this five more year, galas. Yeah. This year, the goal was 100 members. So we are like surpassed that six months in, which is super cool. Mm-hmm. So um, I just want to continue to see um, membership grow because obviously when we have more members, we can do more things in the community. Um I want to see us uh, do a lot more work in the community as far as like with other local nonprofits. Mm -hmm. I believe that there's a great support system that we can provide to them. Um, And just to be, I really want people to know, I want somebody to be able to say Texas Women in Business or TWIB, which is our acronym. And I want people to go, oh, I know, I know of you guys. I've heard of you guys. I've heard of all the work that you do. Because really, I think we all come from like very servant-based hearts. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that's like, that's pretty cool when they know about us. Well, I mean, at the growth rate you're growing, I, th- I think you're going to make that happen. So. Yeah, I hope so. Well, give me, give me what, what what you might consider your best success story for the organization. Something that that you know reaffirms why you're doing what you do. Oh man, <sighs> there there's a lot. I mean, I gosh, I don't know. Um, the success story that's a hard one. I don't know that we have a single success story that I could call you know call attention to. But I think one of the biggest things, you know, our the thing that we look at for growth and stability is just member retention, right? So if they're happy, mm-hmm. they stay. If they feel like they're getting something out of it, they stay. Um, we have a I haven't done the math, but we have a pretty high member retention rate. Um, for four years in, that's pretty good. Very we still good. have people like yeah. the OGs, right? They're still in the crowd. I like to shout them out every once in a while. I'm like, who's here from the beginning? And you've got like eight people raising their hand. The original eight. Yeah. So, I mean, that that means a lot, right? Yeah. They like it. Um, and, you know, we've had opportunities to go. We've we've partnered with um, Higher Up Texas even before they were our gala um recipient we started doing some work with them in the schools and so um, we have our members go out and they basically we've kind of adopted a class and we go out and we speak to them about different um I mean everything from like I did one on how to set a table you know Mm. how to how to eat out and like what's proper protocol when you're out and etiquette and so things like that when you really realize that you're able to tie yourself into something that you can make a bigger impact like I would have never known about that myself that that was something we had an opportunity to do so we've been able to pass that on to some of our members to be able to go out and speak and then I think they realize that they're here for a bigger purpose right and I think that's probably the biggest thing that I could say would maybe be our business our biggest success story is that I think you had originally a lot of women who were just happy to be there and who just had a really great time hanging out to now four years later, they really realize that their voices are really loud and that they can make a really big impact with the things that they're doing, not just in one person's life, but in like 
a ton of people's life. So for me, I don't know. That's probably just to see it. Like yeah. I just sit back and watch it. And I'm like, man, like when I met her, she was so quiet and she was so like reserved. And now I see her and she's just like a completely different woman. So seeing that, that individual yeah. growth. Yeah. Kind of oh, grow yeah. Just in a, a few short years. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty incredible to be yeah. able to watch. So. And the give back. So, I mean, it's like you're, you're, you, you're, you're, you're impacting individuals and the community yeah. as a whole. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I am so excited for December to come where we're able to just present that big check to Higher Up Texas. I think that's an incredible opportunity. Like, that's not something I could do personally myself, but because I'm a part of the group, I get to experience, like, mm-hmm. what that feels like. Yeah. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. Well, I want to thank you for what you're doing. Thank and you. And uh, thanks for being on the show. Thank you.